Hi guys, let's look at how you can create a dashboard in Visual Basic 6.0. So what I mean by dashboard is something like this. So if we open this, this is a complete system. So I just want to show you a dashboard. So like now I double click this one, then we run it. So if you run such a system, if you run such a system, uh let's see and we go to password so this is the dashboard we are talking about that is the you can create forms and reports or even other stuff so uh this is whatever we call a dashboard so how do you create a dashboard in visual basic so guys what you need to do is to go to project yeah first of all i stop it so you go to project then once you go to project you can do add form so you choose form one then you click on open then from there i can maximize this one i can also maximize this one so make sure property sheet is available so like i want to change this name so this one can be my dashboard in your basic in visual basic 6.0 so the next thing i can change the background color or insert a photo like uh, for example let me try to insert uh, a photo here that is a picture for that information so for that point so we got picture where the picture is hit here hit the three dots then you can just redirect your system where your your pictures are like for example you can just go to this point resources let me just check my computer then let me say we have some photos here like right let, let me take this one so sorry i just need it. you see now i have inserted a, a picture i have inserted a picture in the that is in at the background alternatively somebody else might uh, think of uh, inserting cara back cara that is back cara uh, uh, behind behind the the system so uh, you can just go to this point fill cara uh, hit that point go to let me just extend this a bit so you can just go to fill cara or back color can also search for back color in this one let's see whether you can get that one yeah back color can get it here so you can just go to the parent and insert back color so the next thing after doing that one is to make sure that your property sheet is active and your toolbox is active so i can just catch um, or click on this button here but uh, some people might opt to use the, the that is the, the the frame so this is my frame one i can also use the frame like that then change the name of the frame like this one here you can just say uh, form operations you see then you can also increase the font size of that one to 14 then here you can also change this color if you wish like for example i can just go to this point then put that color then i need to put some buttons here so just click on the command button draw it and uh, change the name like this one i want it to have sales uh, sales module then after doing that uh, i need just need to go and uh, uh, check which form uh, has the sales module then you can just take it. like for example if you just go to project then i go to this one i can be the position to check this ones so I, I can see i have form one two three so what i need to do is just to double click here and then just type a uh, form one dot show like that so that one that button will open uh will open form one then i can proceed to take the next button like this 
so I just uh, go to property sheet here change the name let's say uh, the, the accounting module like that again I double click I just type let's say form 2 dot show like that then cross this one again I can still now repeat this one until I, I am done with my button so basically what you need to do here is just to put the the buttons and the code let's say procurement module that's the next one so again I can just double click then type uh, the name of the form form 3 dot show dot show so that is uh, how simple it is so the next thing is you can just hold shift shift then go to font and do your stuff there like I need them borrowed you can change this one to something different click ok so now this is what I have let's say this is this was the this was the forms module so I can also go ahead and draw another I can just go ahead and draw another frame this time round this is the reports reports and summaries that is that part again go to font here yeah, can just make it 12 bold like that then then the next thing is to change the color like I want to change the back color so parrot change that color to something like that then for the report you do the same like I just got to that point let's say this is sales report again double click then just go to uh, report one dot show if you you point at dot and there is nothing then it means there is no such object so I just needed to check just to confirm the reports I have so I have data report one I have data report one you can see I have data report one so what I needed to do is just to type data report one dot dot show just like that so you repeat that one for all reports so in case I have another report again let's say I, I put the next one is accounting uh, reports accounting reports accounting reports so I can just make sure they are somehow equal to each other for the accounting report let's say double click then we have the teleport two dot show you see when I click that one there is no nothing so there is no such report so for this case I just type them let's just to make it comment so guys after having done that one uh, I can be in a position now to uh, see how far I have gone so I just go to project property sheet then here I can just uh, change it to form 4 then run it so you see this is my dashboard you see guys I have been in a position to create my dashboard in that when I click on this one it uh, takes me to the next form when I click on this one it takes me to the report only that the report is not yet complete so guys that's how you can create a dashboard in visual basic using uh, buttons and also using the visual basic code so thank you very much again remember to subscribe remember to share and also